Yeah, thank you for uh, inviting me to talk this opportunity. It's my honor to, to give this talk, uh, this opportunity. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, let's start today's talk. Today's talk title is The Preliminary Announcement and Indication of Robot Upcoming Movement <coughs> and Intention. This is a little bit the uh, old topic, old project for me, but uh, the purpose of this talk is the, I want to ask you to understand what is the research construction and how to make the research project and the, how to do the, this and then the, to make the result. The, I, I, I explain about the, what is my experience. So the, this is the robotics research example of one of the robotics research for me. So maybe the, it is the, Maybe mainly about your students, so therefore the, it will be beneficial for you, I think, that I will talk about this. Yes, yes overview is uh, there are uh, three parts, uh, mainly about this second part. But uh, the first thing that she has introduced me, but uh, briefly introduced again about my personal history. And uh, so, so let's start about this the personal history of, of myself. Yes. As, as she introduced, uh, I have received a bachelor degree, ma ma master degree from the Western University, and under uh, the supervised by this Professor Ichiro Kato, the, he was uh, very famous about the bike robot, and the first, uh, first person that developed about the humanoid research works, started his humanoid research work, not only in, the, in Japan, but also the, in the world, that he has started the piped robot and the human robot firstly. And the, after receiving the master degree, I have joined the private company, the Toshiba Corporation. The, I, have belong, I was belong to the, the research R&D center of this company. The R&D center is the central the corporate laboratory of this company. So therefore, the, the many kinds of the, this company's working categories, the many problems and the many research topic is, uh, is dealing with. So one of them is the robotics and the mechatronics field. And at that time, the Toshiba itself is the not working about the industrial robots, but the R&D center is doing the, some kind of research work, some, uh, it is called R&D, the research on robots for specialized operations. Specialized operation means the participate in the national project is one thing, and also the collaborating with collaborating with the governmental organization, and also the collaborating with other private company. So, so therefore the the megatronic system and the megatronic technology will be applied to the various field, of course. The, one of my experience is the robot itself in the, for example, the airplane, the airplane windshield cleaning robot, the fire parking at the airport is one, one project that I have been with about this. And also the electricity distribution, the electric pole is here, and the, the isolation and the trans transmitter, transmitter is there on the top of the pole. So sometimes it should be replaced because the isolation ability will be, will be decreasing gradually. So therefore, the, the, this kind of isolation, isolation, the isolator should be replaced. The, but the time by using the human, human hand by itself, the sometimes it has an accident of the electricity, but caused by the electricity. So therefore, the remote operation robot is, uh, is used for in place of the human operator is a one project of, about this. So, so therefore, the, this kind of uh, the, uh, center, R&D center is very, very interesting, and it is a very, very good uh, opportunity to, to apply the, my ability and also the engineering technology to various fields. And at that time, the, I have met 
the Professor Subir Subir Kumar, Kumar Saha of IIT Delhi. So at that time, the, we are the colleagues at, at this company. So therefore, the, I was a very, very old friend with him. The, and the, this, this, the last weekend, I have met, of course, the Professor Saha at the Delhi, and then the, the warming of the old friendships with him. And this son is uh, studying under, under him. So, you, okay, okay. So, so therefore, the, the, I have a very good relationship with the uh, Indians. So. so, after that, while working in the company, the, that is a very, very the good, good environment for, for me. So, the, at that company, the, some work is doing, and the, some development and the monitoring, uh, prior monitoring is there. And tested. Of course, the sun main purpose is there, but the, this equipment, equipment can be used for the other other works by him, by myself. In some case, because the uh, for the researchers in the company, the we can use about 10 percent or twenty percent of hours can be used for personally. It is uh, the, it is a lower group. So, so therefore, the, by using that the hours and also the working in the holy case, the, I can do some the additional works. And by using by doing this kind of additional work, I can make some the academic paper, publish academic paper, and the present it at the international conferences. And the, of course, the company needs some the patent. So therefore, the patent. The submission, application, and also the inter-corporate report the has to be written to, to the corporate. But to the, the public, public uh, academic manuscript can be published by, by, for myself. So therefore, the, the making some the presentation and the publication in conferences and the, the journals, and then the by, by Summarizing several several kind of the papers, I have received the, this PhD in 1998. So at that time, but of course, the presently, the Japan system is the, not necessarily the schooling PhD courses, but but on, but also only submitting the doctor 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 thesis, it can be acceptable. But of course, some test in the test or some ABB test is there. But the main, main thesis is only by the submission can be acceptable. So, so therefore, the, I received the PhD while working for the private company. And the, after receiving the, the PhD, the, I have moved to the industry, to the academia. The first is that I have worked for the Shizuoka University. The Shizuoka is uh, one of the national universities in Japan, but to the local district. It is a small figure, but to the, you can see this mountain. This mountain is uh, Mount Fuji. So, so Shizuoka is a prefecture, prefecture that has uh, this Mount Fuji. So therefore, I have worked in this uh, university for the 12 years. Uh, education research work, and I established this by robotics and human mechanics laboratory, and the experience at the grants and also some, some other institutes. And the, from 2010, the, I moved to the Western University, and then the, continued to the biologics and human mechanics works in here. And the last year, so I have an invited professor at Warsaw University of uh, Warsaw Institute of Technology, Poland. That is my personal history. And the, since establishing this, this laboratory, the, this laboratory is uh, dealing with uh, robots and robotics and mechatronics. Various subjects between human and mechatronic system, mechatronic system including the robots and other systems. Of course, that has been picked up. <coughs> how how do you think about the the special special point of the robot? How do you think, Nibisan? How do you think? What is the difference from the the robot and other, for example, the multimedia system or AI system? What do you think? 
He tries to imitate what human beings do. Ah, uh, one one is uh, imitating the the living creature, which you know, is also the one different creature, and and also it has to work with humans. Ah, uh, work for humans mm -hmm. in in place of the human workers is is one purpose, of course, and. Have we actually based on the the uh, information sense from the environment? Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Important part. Yes, yes. The some multimedia system and AI system, the mainly about the information technology. So therefore, the uh, but the robot has some its physical body, physical body, and the task is mainly about the physical task. So therefore, the robot and environment, or the mechatronic system and environment, not only the information interaction, but also the physical interaction is there. That is the main point, I think. Physical body and the physical interaction is the one important point of the mechatronic system, I think. So, so therefore, the, this kind of mechatronic system is used through and friendly for users is mine with our laboratory's purpose. And also the develop the original function and producing a real-time system, it means that demonstration in the real, real world is uh, very, very important. So the robotic system, the demonstration, uh, demonstration video or actual working the showing is a uh, very, very important, I think. So the one of the original function is the today's topic preliminary announcement and indication of robot's intention and upcoming motions. Yes, the, so the to construct the, this kind of mechatronic system, the usual the engineering technology like the mechanics, electronics, control, and the information, informatics, and so on. The, but of course, the human is here. So therefore, the human factor, the ergonomics, some kind of interface or interaction design is important. So therefore, the ergonomics, medicine and biology, and sometimes psychology, the feeling of the users, or something as the impression of the appearance is also the important. So it means the various kinds of technology, and not only the technology, limited, not limited in the technology, but also the, all the knowledge and the skills should be integrated to, to develop the one system integration with various knowledge and technologies into the systems. It's an important concept to develop the robotic system and mechanical system, I think. So, uh, presently, it, this kind of the engineer is a code system integrator, SI art. In, but this is maybe the Japanese Japanese English, so therefore the, it, it is not, not so widely used. But uh, the selection of the how to integrate and what, what is the combination is a very, very related to the personal engineering sense, personal ability in engineering. So therefore the, I ask that every student to grow up their some kind of senses or engineering skills or something, how to integrate it, how to assemble to construct the system is very, very important. So, wide kind of knowledge, various kind of knowledge, and from, from understanding, and then the pick up something, pick up something, pick up something, and make a one system to integration is a very, very important thing. So, the better interaction, better relationship with, with human and robots is a one concept for our robots. Yes? This is the introduction part. So the, let's move on to the main part. Yes, the, today's, today's talk is about the preliminary announcement and indication of the robot upcoming motion and intentions. So the background. The, maybe the, you, you may know, you already know about the COBOT, collaborative robot, uh, coexistence robot, is uh, very, very become famous. And not the industrial robot is separated from the from the human workers, but the presently the cooperative work also in the factories is now doing, and not only the manufacturing 
factory, but also some other industries like the cosmetic industry or the food, industry, food making industry or packaging industries. Some robot is working with the human workers presently. The performing task by using the digital implementation is more and operating in the same living working space as the people or workers. So, so therefore, the, this kind of robot's positive impre impression is, uh, is uh, apt for people, support, assist, medicate, mediate, uh, entertain, and uh, interact in daily life. So the, it is uh, feeling as a good partner for human beings. But the negative feeling, negative impression is that robots invade their jobs or the not good and the, it's scary, strange, because the, what he is thinking is not estimated from the appearances, its appearances, so they were uncomfortable, un incompatible or unwelcome. So this kind of the feeling you, you may also feel about the, some strange emotion or something, maybe. So, so therefore, the, the, we, want to, we want to think about this problem. Maybe I think the, the insufficient consideration about the affinity, the friendly, friend, friendly something or the familiarity, good feeling is not, not enough considered. So, so therefore, the one important thing is informing the robot intention is the one important function, I think, we, we, we thought at that time. The, among human beings, the, uh, this is a human robot, but to the among human beings, maybe the, the opposite side, other's intention or the next next one, next action will be estimated easy because the, using the non-verbal information, the not not the sound, not voice, the like body languages, the hand gesture, the hand gesture or the facial expression or the, the direction of gaze. Uh, you may be able to, uh, you may be able to uh, understand various kinds of information from this kind of uh, non-verbal non methodology. So, so therefore, uh, because why we can do, do this manner? Because uh, general knowledge or shared experience, maybe the same culture developed and the same place living, so therefore, the, it is this kind of knowledge and experience is shared the, as a common sense. You, you can also the, you, you estimate others as the same common sense, same knowledge, same, same experience. So therefore, the, you, can, you can estimate others as well. But for the robot, the robot has an artificial creature, so therefore the, any design is okay. <laughs> you said that it looks like the, the animals or the living creatures. This, this kind of methodology is also there. That look like the, some the existing living creatures, robot is very, very useful, of course. But the, well, maybe the robot is uh, designed for the, some specific purpose. The, this function or configuration, the structure is designed for this some specific purpose. So therefore, the, it is not, at all, not necessary the similar to the living creatures. So therefore, the, it is difficult to estimate the robot movement functions, how much power it produces, how fast it moves, and so on, the performance only from its other appearance, because this is designed by the designers of robots. So the non-advanced information or prior knowledge is there, so, so therefore the road is narrow. And the roof of, roof of in school zone, it means the school zone is, should, be, should, be, should be kept in for the safety, mm -hmm. safety problem. But the, in some cases, uh, in some cases uh, this kind of car is uh, inside of this uh, the safety zone. To, to make a shortcut. So, so therefore, the, even though the narrow road, but the, the, this, the, this project. Yes, so the problem setting part is, uh, looks like this. Okay. Yes, problem setting is, but at this time, the 
daily life's the problem or daily life's thinking is uh, one motivation to, to make the project. Okay? And the proposals, idea, idea generation part. Yes, I said there are two kinds of information. The speed, direction and speed is, uh, should, be, should be informed. So therefore, the, I have, uh, we have proposed four, four methods that are categorized into the two categories. The one is the state of the movement just after the present, only the state of movement. So the one second later, it moves like this, is uh, indicated. And the second category is a continuous movement from the present to, the, some, to some future, from present to the one second later, two second later, or some other continuously the informed method. Yes, uh, for this first category, the two types <laughs> initially the considering. The lamp is, uh, is put on, several lamps is put on the, the top of the robot. And then the lighting part is the direction of the movement, and the speed will be, will be indicated by changing its blinking rate or lighting colors or something. So by using this, it is okay to predict the direction and speed. And the second one is a blow blow. Telescopic arrow is, looks like this, but it is a, like a toy. The, some growing toy is here. And then the, it should be put on, on the table, the rotating turntable on here. The turning direction is the direction of movement, and the length should, should show the speed. This is uh, one, one way to both indication. And the second category, like continuous movement from present to the future, is uh, looks like this. This, uh, path, this laser light is lighting the, the path. Path is the one idea. And the projection, the projector is equipped. This kind of 2D screen is projected on the ground, and the, this is easy to to, uh, to recognize. And also, that this screen is uh, easy to write any 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 chart, any text can be can be written on this screen. So therefore, it is it is easy to understand. And the group this idea. The developed mock-up is looks like this. One is here, the other is here, the display is here, and library type is here, and the project transition type is here. Yes? And the next I will show the each of them. Yes, yes. Yes, each of them. Yes, firstly, about this first category, lamp method. Lamp method is the changing to this the omnidirectional display. Okay? The omnidirectional display is the one small board is the screwing inside of this ball and the locus can see outside. So therefore the any kind of images can be shown around this this direction. So so therefore the uh, and also the we think the eyeball is uh, is very uh, appreciate <laughs> appropriate to, to show because uh, you you are gazing is a is an important key to to estimate other other intention. So therefore the, the this eye closing for eye closing degree of closing degree of opening shows the speed of movement and the direction of the, the eye position is a turn, lose turn, tight turn, or the stop, pivot, pivot turn, and stop in the here. So, so therefore, it is one way. And the telescopic is the changing to this LCD display and the arrow directly showing. Yes, the, now, we have designed this, this blowout method, of course, Hardware, but the hardware is difficult to change. Once it is constructed, the, the modification or improvement is a little bit difficult. But the, the we found, yeah, this is similar function of this kind of arrow showing. So there was the size of error, length of error, uh, length of arrow, and the stop, 
the character can be shown, and also the news term, type term, pivotal term can be shown like this. So the, if it is no good, the, we can generate the other, other arrow or some, some, some other method. method. So, so therefore, the, we, have, we have used about this kind of the arrow robots we have developed. And the plot types, the, the second category, second category type two is the continuity. So therefore, the, this is the the uh, uh, so laser edge point, uh, laser laser light, laser light, laser pointer, and the reflective mirror. The mirror is the moving, the dislocating motion and showing the the path like this. And the projection in the sun is projected equipped directly like this. Ah, so, so. so the laser light -like method is that uh, yes, the here is the laser pointer bundled of the seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven laser pointer is bundled here and the, the mirror is here and the this projection, the locus of here, and the, this shows the straight line or the turn or the pivot turn like this. This method is very useful because the, it is good this go straight or the curved purpose to, to, to prevent some object to contact. The, this is easy to, easy to understand for the surrounding people because the, the plan, plan line, schedule line Schedule route is uh, directly shown on the ground. So and also the lens. The if you if you decide the how much how how long the how long future in your future the this this uh, this path should be drawn. The once it is decided to yes 1.5 second later the, this is slow movement. And the longer path shows the past movement, you can see. So, so therefore, that is the one interesting point. And also, the, the projection robot is a two-dimensional screen is shown on the ground. So it is, uh, you, you can change its, its uh, the con display contents. And also, the, this is one arrow is shown here. And the, this belt has three parts, for example, in this case the green part, the yellow part, and the red part. It means the 0.1 second later it reached here. 1.0 second later it reached here. And 1.5 second later it reached here. So the changing its color, the not only the one single, single belt, but the changing its color shows the, shows the speed information. During this, during this time, you can you can estimate. And also the you, you see this kind of slight strike. Slight strike is also the the one important feature because the only the single normal color is only one some something is the, is the looks like this. So but to the this strike is the looks fixed on the ground. This is the uh, looks like widening this belt by this robot. So it looks like. So therefore it's more better to understand what, what is the meaning of this the indication for the surrounding people. So one important thing is only first sight without preliminary knowledge. The only one first sight, everyone easy to understand is a good way to, to show. So therefore the, we use this kind of the, the, also not only the structure of this equipment, but also the projection content. Content is also the important to design. Of course. Yes, so the, I will show some example. Yes, this is the iron robot. It looks like this. Well, one point five second later, so the opening half closing and the 
then scroll down. And closing and stop. Ah, this is some kind of the armor helmet type. Some, the, only the, this part is the vacant. And the fire uh, above this space frame, the eyeball will move. Now, because of this is the, the ball like shape, so therefore the, it is sometimes it is not good information about the pitch is that there, there is a front, front direction. So, so therefore the, this kind of the, the plane is important to indicate the, the front direction. Yes, that looks like this. This is one thing, and the other arrow is looks like this. Now this is simply the, this LCD, LCD uh, LC display is showing this. But of course, the uh, limitation of reflection at the time, because uh, this is almost uh, more than 10 years ago, so the LCD's ability is not so good for the slide, slide and the soil. But with the man, this is the same case. That is all, 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 all important, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Was with a human and a robot. It was not with two robots. Like two robots are identical and they cross the line. Uh, because this, 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 in this case, uh, one robot and one user, only one single case is, is uh, tested. But the uh, du duplicate, two robots or three robots, I, I just, we don't compare that at the same time. Okay. Like, uh, robots can identify each other uh, from this uh, ah, look, in, in this case, not to have some, this kind of the inter, inter robot communication or the crowd control or something is not, not the, the individual robot is working independently. Because uh, the well, setting is uh, very, very limited. So, therefore, uh, we have limited about this, this kind of the terms, kind of term. So, the, not, sorry, sorry, not on the arbitrary term, but to the limited condition, straight, loose, tight, on spot, only this, in this case. emergency stop condition or some cases the different showing will be made of course. Hi, other question? So the indications were visual, right? So what about the visually impaired people or elderly people whose reaction time is quite slow? Uh, so so therefore the uh, sometimes uh, we have tested the for not only the the question in this kind of question survey, the, uh, this is uh, some exhibition, so there was a very limited number of the elderly people, but the, uh, this kind of the question and answer is very, very important for the impression of, the, of this kind of the robot. But of course, this is a robot exhibition, so therefore the elderly people but the uh, familiar with the uh, engineering technology. So therefore the, yes more more better that we should we should ask the more common 
、Delta is equal to our this kind of load. Yes, but this is like one、uh, lack of data, lack of data on this. Yeah, I think you can recognize visually impaired people. Ah, visually impaired. So, in that case, the, some sound or some other methodology is necessary, of course. But, the, well, as I said, the, we don't use the sound and voice, as I said, so there was only the visual information translation method we have explored. Okay. Other question? Yes? It, that, that's all. <laughs> thank you for attending and, and thank you for listening. Yeah, that's all. Please. Yes. So, uh, uh, on behalf of uh, IDRP RMS and Mechanical Engineering Department, uh, we especially thank uh, Professor Matsumaru uh, for this uh, talk. Like, we have had a vision of like almost uh, uh, long like a time of research and especially how robots interact with humans and then in the future uh, with the advent of more of autonomous vehicles uh, these kind of uh, aspects will become more and more important and uh, hopefully uh, all these ideas will contribute to the like future development of autonomous vehicles and human machine interaction and human robot interaction so thank you once again professor masumar for The interesting talk and open your interesting ideas. Thank you. Thank you for attending. And the, this talk will uh, slightly impress you, and the, it is it is help your achievement and the future works. Thank you. I hope. Thank you. Thank you very much.